as which is stronger, the sword or the toaster? If we're talking I am bread, then it's definitely the toaster, because you will have burnt toast. You know, I've never played I am bread. Neither have I, but I still remember the GDQ where it was memed up to heck, and ooh, we got good bomb drop RNG for both runners as they're both screen scrolling to three, and that's level one. That's going to work out real nicely after we see a pirouette from both runners. You know it's going to be a good day when you have not only level one, but you have bombs going into level one. Now that's a little, that Lionel's a little bit ugly, but the rest of the enemies on the screen really aren't so bad. Yeah, speaking of ugly, you've got tech types jumping around, and that can be tricky, especially if you're trying to dodge the Lionel. And it looks like Wallmaster's world beefy. You know, I think the worst part about the tech tights, well, we're not going to see it in this seed because the game was nice and rolled the tech tights uh, decent. The Tektites can, more often than not, uh, if they roll high, just teleport all through all the walls and, well, there's a heart, there's a magic boomerang, and there's a bow. Oh, wow, we're finding all this stuff in level one. I mean, the inferior model gets left behind, but the bow in one, you're going to need that for the end of the game. So, it's definitely good to find that. Now there's only one thing left, and that is the Triforce for this level. So, while it is good that Toaster has found the bow in one, I would not be willing to call it an advantage at this point because, one, we're literally not even three minutes into the seed, and two, no two betos gonna pick it up at about 30. And Toasty's about to find the inferior model in this staircase. Also, Zol's rolling too low always good. It's when they roll high that it's not a fun time. So I think if you are... Uh, what's it called? I think if you are actually either runner, you might start to consider an earlier than normal arrow purchase given you've already got the bow. It would be worth it in my opinion because the siege just started you don't know where Silvas are. They can quite literally be anywhere in this dungeon. Or rather, this seed. And, to be honest, it would be a good pickup. Because you could still have Goma blocking something. You don't know that, but you'd be well guarded against it. And that appears to be a key block. Unfortunately, no way to Kanan a key in that room. So that is going to be the end of level 1 for Toasty. One of the downsides of level one is that it's very often key locked. Part of the reason for that is in vanilla, the lo level one for being a 17 room dungeon has six locked doors. And a number of them you can get around for a number of reasons. Ooh, arrows rule max price. And that 28 mid secret is not gonna cut the mustard. Well, before we go talking about cutting the mustard, let's remember that uh, the candle will unlock two of the large secrets, and the large secret may be enough to purchase those arrows. The question there is, where's the candle shop, or do you find red candle at Armos, if you're lucky? The answer, the answer is always the candle's in the forgotten spot, and uh, oh, by the way, red candle's at night. Sounds about right. Speaking of nine, there's nine. Right at level one, but now we know that there is something up at Spectacle Rock. We don't know where that some, what that something is, but it's something. I find that as of late, the most convenient two times to route in Spectacle Rock are either right here after level one, or immediately after checking your Armos item. 
So find there's already time to do it. So you found that before on Nochi's side. And, well... Are we are in a Chevy room. That's going to be a quick exit. If you were wondering if the game wanted you in there, and look at the price of that candle. 41, I like it. That Actually, may, the may... game didn't want Nochi to leave level 4 because he got knocked right back in by a blue dark nut. You know, that actually kind of negates the whole uh, max rupee arrow price when the candle's one, off, one above the minimum. Well, it does balance out. Didn't think of it that way before. And they're both runners on the Armo screen, and it's just a heart container. But that'll give our runners a 66% chance of picking up the white sword item. Come on, we all know it's going to be six hearts, and it's going to be a heart container. Also, those are two good prices there. A good big shield price, and a nice key price. So, Toaster's gonna go into level 4, find out the same problem of a Gliok in a Chevy room, and immediately leave. And I, I like this play from Nochi to go ahead and check 9 out now. This... This is def. This, as I was saying before, is one of the most convenient times to route it in. So Thirsty's not doing that though. He's heading a different way. He might be thinking of a of a first quest eight five two and ooh level seven up there at Spectacle Rock. That's kind of gross. And it Even has more jokes. so. That, that's a fun level. And a Patra. And, and a key an block. early key block. Oh, that's disgusting. So I think the game is telling us we should go to the east side of Hyrule first. Yep, and I think Tosi's going for a bomb drop off these dark nuts. So, well, no cooperation. I was about to say no cooperation yet. Then he gets one. We'll call that a blessing. Bum, ba -bum, bum, 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 bum. He picks up guaranteed white sword item. So, due to the nature of the flag set, uh, the runners will know where each of the caves are right off the bat, as we do not have shuffle caves on, and ugh. Ugh. That's nasty. Well, maybe the arrow purchase isn't looking such like a good idea after all, when you have to pick up two large yeah. secrets to afford it. Yeah, we're one large, two mids. We don't know about the small, and we hope the small rolled up, but even if it did, this is definitely a poverty seed, without a doubt. Ugh. The only saving grace is the candle was not a terrible price. So you buy level two at level eight. Yeah, that is, that is certainly a saving grace. Probably the biggest saving grace money-wise would be finding red ring and silver arrows sooner rather than later. Eh, yeah, something something Dark World. You know what else I meant? You know, I think the runners would actually be okay seeing a magic key at this point, too. True that, because we're key starved as all heck, and Toasty's gonna do a Rick 6 here, because we found the Triforce room in level 2. He might I... set up a Kanana key in this room he's going into. Not I was about yet. to say, I would expect him to Kanana key that door down. Oh, hi, Gleok. Or he could just completely ignore it and go through this way. Snowchi is at level 5. It's up where level 2 is. So, the thing about level 5 is it tends to be, doesn't have to be, but tends to be pretty okay on the key count. We might be able to command a key to this block. As I thought, the block's close enough to the door, so go for it. That's probably one of the easiest, uh... ...block rooms to Kinaniki is, uh... Well, I don't think this is a Binding of Isaac mod. No. This was Binding of Isaac before Binding of Isaac was a thing, and we got Danger Noodles! I guess we're in the Danger Zone, as Nochi Beto's gonna... ...clip into the blocks... Kill the lane molas from inside of the blocks to open the door, and then he's pop
Just has to wait for one to get close enough for it to go down, and Nochi will be all set to go down the staircase, pop back up, and not worry about it. And so all of a sudden, Tosi's in a red land mole over him. He's got a good strategy here. I like to see that both runners are using the door guard strat. Hey, look at that. Nochi's gonna go ahead and opt to do the glitch where you only have to kill one of the bosses to kill both of them. It's only a transport, but this could be his item right here. Also, that staircase in two means that two is segmented. So we get another heart. Well, it's better, already at seven hearts. And name that ink blot. For the first time tonight. That looks like a. That looks, looks like a like smuggler it. just jettisoned some cargo in space. Alright, Han Solo, the real hero of Zelda confirmed. <laughs> but the way that ink blot set up is interesting because there always has to be one room touching the bottom of the dungeon even with how our entrances are set up now in shapes with the random entrance there's always going to be one room touching the bottom period looks like toaster is still looking for the second item in this level two Either that, or he grabbed it and we just missed it. Nope, it looks like he's still looking for it, because he's fighting this Gleok now. Fighting a Gleok with wood sword, green mail, I don't care how many hearts you've got, it's not fun. I would know. I don't think... Well, as Toaster takes a death, I I'd be quicker to categorize it as long and tedious. Well, let's just say I've had a few run-ins. I mean, don't get me wrong, it is hard to do. But not... What's the word? I, I think I'd rather fight a Gliok than I would a bunch of blue wish or blue dark nuts. Fair enough. Besides, those fights are really not fun, and Tosi's got the Triforce out of two. Might be thinking of going back for that Gleok at full health, which would be a good strategy. Yeah, I think if you're gonna do the Gleok early, this is the time to do it, and it's a segmented level 5. Level 5 is being weird, level 2 is being weird, the levels are being weird. That's how you know it's a Tuesday. I like how much- I, I just like how many door guard strats we're seeing in this scene. Oh. Wow! The Gleok was holding the ladder in two! That's just... disgusting right there. I think it's safe to say Toaster has a pretty good lead at this point with the ladder and two, and by the fact that Nochi doesn't even have a candle yet. Yeah, it could be a while before Nochi even goes into level two. Let's see what's on the coast uh, real quick. Uh oh. A red oh. ring, and it is guarded by blue dark nuts and a Zora shooting at you, and we've got Toasty going for a world wrap. That... Except it doesn't work that way. Uh, Diggy, that... he has the Triforce, so I'm assuming on... He was just doing a screen up to get back into this part of the forest a little quicker, but... The red ring, la... the red ring combined with the ladder this early in is... It's actually quite powerful. The, the ladder to get you to places, the red ring to let you just face tank everything. But you can only face tank for so long before you take the death. And 
Oh, speaking of, Nochi, right outside the White Sword item location takes a death. That's quite unfortunate. So I think... With that, Nochi's gonna run right back to the White Sword item location. Like, there's just no reason not to go back there. Uh, and you'll you'll see a little bit of a difference between how the two runners handled this uh, land molar room, as Toaster can just kind of face tank them a little bit, whereas Nochi had to do the block clip to get into the block to make that happen. And now, Nochi's going away from where the candle shop is. Yeah, this is a room that Nochi wanted no part of, I think, when he was in five. Can't say I blame him because in green mail, blue land molas do two hearts of damage. That makes that room a dicey room to fight him in. And if that wasn't enough, here's a Patra. Yep, and interesting to note about Patra, the Patrobes are part of the HP shuffle as they are considered a normal enemy. Whether they are, I debate that myself, but that's what the game coding says, so who am I to argue? That only applies to the Patrites, or as I like to call them, the bees surrounding the Patra. The, the base Patra head itself will still be the normal 11 hits with the wooden sword. It makes you wish you had a wand or a white sword, to be honest. Or even mags would be better. Also, level 6 exists, and Nochi Beto's in it. Yep, it is in the Lost Hills at first quest 5. Again, I like the door guard strat. So on the one hand, Nochi can't go north of there. On the other hand, he doesn't have a key, so even if he could go north of there, he can't go north of there. He's gonna have to go around. Well, he could go around it, but... Those like-likes are in the way, and those t are quite time-consuming to beat as he's currently equipped. Plus, they don't drop anything. They drop your shield down a level if you get swallowed by them. Yeah, basically what happens there is if you have a magic shield, or big shield as it's often called, and a like like grabs you, you basically have four seconds to defeat that like like, or else that shield's gone. And your money is literally going down to the bottom of Lake Hylia. Uh, one thing of note is that with the magical sword, generally speaking, unless the like likes roll up to four hits, which can only happen in plus minus four HP you're generally going to be able to get out in almost any circumstance with a magical sword. Uh, with white and wood swords, you need to have it nearly dead in order to not lose your shield. To answer the question in chat, uh, no, there is a small window when you get swallowed by the like like that you can kill it and you don't lose your shield. I forget what the exact figure on it is, but I want to say it's on the order of three seconds? Maybe yeah, it's in, yeah, it's in the ballpark of three to four seconds. Now, Toasty did Kananiki here, but he did not go back through the door, so he has to do the Kananiki again in order to get past the lock. But this time, he does remember to go back. Problem solved. And so far, Nochi Beto pulling out at least two keys in this level six, which is never a bad thing, honestly. Now that's interesting to note because we haven't seen too many keys in level 5, and level 5 generally is the dungeon where the key avalanche happens. And that's an interesting clip. I've seen this a couple of times in the tournament where a runner will clip onto the river without the ladder to either get out of the way of danger noodles or to get an enemy that's just out of reach. So, I don't recall if Toaster picked up the Triforce in 5. I didn't see it. We'll have to wait till he pauses to see if he picked it up or not. He might have been blocked by something else, such as a bow, a recorder, keys. I think 
keys is what I'm thinking here, because he had no luck with that whatsoever. But he is getting luck with bombs, at least. So he's able to pick up this mid-secret. And we got a map in level 6 named that Inklot. It's a rattlesnake. Ready to pounce. Yep, that is definitely a rattlesnake. But is it THE rattlesnake? Also known as Stone Cold Steve Austin. Ah, uh, yes. Let's go with that. Still, oftentimes in Shades, you can see level 6 get upwards of 40 rooms. I think I've seen one that was like 42 at most. Oh, good, a compass. Honestly, this level 6 is not that bad. Toaster immediately buys the arrows. I'm, I kind of wonder if he was questioning a key purchase there. Considering how stingy the seed has been with keys, I wouldn't have blamed him if he did purchase a key. No, I wouldn't have either. I mean, there are some seeds where you just... its Yes, you could get keys out of dungeons, but it's just faster to buy keys. True, because some seeds can be stingy as all heck. Well, apparently level 6 seems to have a decent number of keys, so the runners do have that going for them. Yeah, I'd say six is the key of the lanch this time around. Cause there is another Fernochi! At the very least, the keys are coming in in a dungeon that doesn't have a whole lot of key doors, so Nochi may decide to go back to level two here. He may decide to go back to Well actually he can't get into level two yet. He may decide to go to level five. He may opt to take seven at this point. Oh, this is lovely. A Gyropatra guarding the staircase, and I think this one has the item. Also guarding the Triforce. Talk about a daily double. I don't think we've seen the floor item in this dungeon, so Nochi may come back in for the floor item, given that it's not that big and he's already seen quite a bit of it. Yeah, this level 6 is tame, which makes me wonder how big some of the other dungeons in the 1 through 6 set are. I just want to know what dungeon is up all in the middle of 6 here. Nochi doing a good job on this patch about his- Ooh. Oh! Spoke too soon. Yeah, We've all done it. There's a silver oh. arrows! It's up in the tail! So, that's a case of as soon as you buy arrows, the next item you're going to find is the silver arrows. That certainly is the case, and honestly, it's as someone this community knows, as that person would put it, that is a case of the game knows. Look, if you were going to tell me that buying the wood arrows led to the silver arrows, I would buy the wooden arrows in every single seat. Yep. So... Toaster's just missing Raft, which I don't think we've seen, and Recorder, and he can just try force and go the rest of the seed. This this could be a quick one. The question is, how long will it take Nochi Beto to go back to that room of the six? I think he was trying to work his way over there. It took a death? Question mark? Also, crucially, you have to take the transport to get in there. So it's a magical staircase situation. Wow. Well, this level 6 did do one thing disgusting, and that was it right there. Now, now also think about it from the standpoint of... Toaster for this like-like room is going to have access to silver arrows, which 
Assuming he even needs to do it, because he does have a ladder and could spend a key here to save some time. Not quite sure if that's worth it in this particular seed because of how key starved it is, but he could opt to do that. Looks like he's not going to. Even though it is key starved, it does appear that level six is the aforementioned Tivalanche, and Nochi just took the right staircase that'll give him a shot at making a rally. He still has to get the candle though. And he has to burn the bush in level 8, but this is not over yet. Absolutely not. The, the fact that the... Probably what he's thinking is... The Pacha was blocking the Triforce. Let's try to get an item such as White Sword, Red Ring, Wand... That is going to make that Pacha easier by looking for the other item in 6. He's going to be very happy with the results of it. Yeah, it won't help with the Pacha, but it'll certainly help with finishing off the seed and making a lot of the combat easier, but be careful with how you shoot your arrows, because that costs a rupee per. I, I don't think the rupee cost of the arrows is going to be on the runner's mind as much, because they know where they can get money. So I imagine it's more so just make sure you don't run out of arrows in the dungeons as Nochi picks up his silver arrows. As Toasty sees the ink block for level 6, and now he knows where to bomb. He has not picked up the compass yet, though. But he's probably going to want to dig out the rest of this dungeon anyway for the chance at the other item. We know it's in the patch room, but Toasty doesn't know that. Yeah, but it looks like that's exactly where he's heading on a direct route. I mean, it kind of makes sense. You, you go up to the top of the dungeon first and then work your way back down if you need to. Yeah, from a routing perspective, it makes sense. And he's got the defense to be able to tank past this patch if he wants to, but at full hearts, he's not doing that. He's just firing his sword beams at it. Plus, because these can be drop rooms, even though he doesn't know yet, this is the room that has the Triforce, so we'd have to kill this patch anyway. Oh yeah, this patch is the definition of hard required. But at least it's only one Patra. A room with multiple Patras, I would probably forfeit out of that seed if it were a race, because that would be dirty. Or when you play with extra bosses on, get a boomerang, and then uh, have ten Patras required in a level seven. Yeah, speaking of boomerangs, that was Lord Banana in the basement of level six. Toasty's gonna pass on that. Just grab the Triforce and move on. Ooh, that's gonna be rough. Toasty's now gonna go see what that white sword item is. Given he has the defense, he's in no danger of dying on this whatsoever. It's actually starting to get in uh, range to threaten the magical sword. And speaking of, insert my surprise here. Well, now there's a 20% chance of Toasty picking it up, so that death that Nochi took outside of the White Sword Cave, not nearly as costly as it could have been. Absolutely. Looks like Toshi's gonna make his way over to 7 now. Well, we know it's level 7, it's the vanilla 9 spot. Yeah, Toshi wasn't able to get up here earlier. And good news for Nochi is that he has full health, so as long as he can keep that health bar full, he will have sword beams available for this patch of fight. Toaster with five keys is gonna be able to do some work here in seven, I imagine. Especially having the ladder, too. I don't recall if it was ladder blocked. I believe it was, I want to say. I know four was ladder blocked with a Gleok right there. 
And he's taking on a blue wizard run, which you probably would not see me do without red ring unless I absolutely had to, because this isn't fun. So the ooh, that's oh, a map. that's nasty, and seven is larger than six. That's just like the Man. vanilla game, and you don't typically see that in shapes. Oh, hey, quick drive force. I wonder if you dip seven now, take the three room seven, and just gamble that the two items in the other however many rooms aren't required here. Because that would be a very tempting gamble to make. It would be. Tosi's not making it. Meanwhile, Nochi's got a problem with his Patra. He, uh... Hit the Patra, or one of the Patrobes at the wrong moment, and by killing the lead one while it's on its pattern, you basically get whatever it's gonna do at infinitium, as Nochi is also gonna pass on Lord Banana. Just grab the Triforce and get on out of here. Yeah, that, that makes sense. And... As Chad is pointing out, it's it's not a bad idea to at least check a couple of rooms on a level before bailing. I think if you have recorder, you just you just hard bail on seven, simply because you can record it back whenever. But without recorder, it makes sense to at least check a couple of the rooms. On the plus side, finding those silver arrows will help, as we got bunnies in seven as well as whiz robes. You know, bunnies don't seem that bad in this Not particular Not when you instance. have arrows. Yeah, you need to have arrows to make bunnies not feel like absolute garbage to fight. If you don't have arrows, the, the bunnies are tanks. And hello. Oh my, there's the NET level 7. That is going to make this seed say, uh, yeah, key start till any key game. And I think with that, Toshi's going to bail. I can't say I blame him due to the size of that level 7. Combined with, he's already got one item out of it. He still has levels 8, 4, and I want to say one of the two items in 5 still on the table. There's enough items out there left that bailing on 7 doesn't seem like a bad idea. Yeah, I agree, but we also haven't seen the inside of level 3 yet, which I believe is under Recorder Lake, so... Or it's at the Wrath Spot, one of the two, so... Level 3 is gonna have one or the other, but not the one needed to get into one or the other, if that makes sense. And the same can be said of level 8, because that will be the other of our blocked dungeons in this scene. This was the quick ladder block, and Toasty has the defense to deal with his first room, which is a three-headed Gleok on a Chevy room. This, without a ring on Wood Sword, would be extremely not fun, unless you like Shadenfreud. That would easily be one of the hardest rooms to do in a Swordless Seed, just because you would need to have the wand and the ladder going in. So, something to be aware of. I'm guessing the Gleok pretty much has to have the map. Just mm -hmm. surely based on the fact that the game wants us to play Find the Magic Bomb Wall this early in level 4. I think There's I a good did... chance Gleok has the map. I would agree. Although I did have a seed recently where we where it was one bomb hole, then the map. And I'm like, Red, I don't think this is supposed to be a thing. Well, the shape's algorithm was designed to put the map more likely early before the bomb walls, but also likely to be combat blocked. Well, hopefully the combat blocked part is something that can be fixed, but that's also not the only block that it can have. It can also have a ladder block, too. Absolutely. We're gonna find the wand in level 4. And no, he's going to try to pick on this Gleok. That's the call he needs to make, because that is the ladder. You know, if he does pull this off, he'll 
definitely be very happy with the results, and believe we have a split level four. I don't believe so, but that Patra is not guarding the Triforce very well, but with wand and wood sword damage stack, that's as much damage as using the magical sword, which speeds up the Patra fight considerably. It's actually one damage less. With the wand sword glitch with wood sword, you're going to be doing three damage per hit. It's the wand white sword sword glitch that does four. And just like that, Nochi's got both items out of level two. I would just like to take a moment to point out that both runners are at 10 hearts. So they both have a 20% shot at max, but watch it roll 14 because sometimes this Randall likes to be rude. Oh, hey, the power bracelet. I believe that's both items out of four. Toasty with the Triforce out of four. Now, what the Power Bracelet does, since we know where the caves are, we also know by that same token where the Any Roads are. So the Power Bracelet gives us access to those. And Nochi picks up his red ring. So based on what we have seen, one of Ladder and Recorder has to be in either level five, or the second item in level 7. Which is not necessarily a comforting thought if your name is Amazing Toaster. If your name is Nochi Beto, and eh, whatever. You haven't been to 7 much yet, so you kind of got to go in there anyway. Uh, Toasty is back in level 1. He did not get the heart container out of here. Yeah. I believe. Well, that would do it. I don't recall where level 5 was. I want to say it was pretty quick in, though. Yeah, I think it was 5 of the first quest, too, so it wouldn't be that difficult to get back to. No, she's actually in it now. We'll see if he's able to pull out the second item with his keys. This might be it right here. Or he's just gonna play dodge the bubble. So this I believe was the room with the bow in it. It was. I think he's clearing it with a purpose. Or just playing find the bomb hole. There's that the... was... That's the magic boomerang. I want to say it was south of the... Wait, did we see all three items in one? Yep, and we see a glue Oh, we never got a Triforce out of it. That's okay, because Toasty's getting it right now. Wow, I totally thought we got a Triforce out of level 1 on the first trip through. But I need to change the tracker. No worries. Don't have to do that with Toasty, because he's got it. Yeah. So, that explains why Toasty was back at 1. Now he's pro I would assume from here he goes to 5. I don't see why he would go back to 7 at this point. Good block clip by Nochi to get out of danger. It's only danger noodles. Can't be that bad, right? Well, basically, they move and hit like a freight train. Minor details. Nasty level five is triple segmented, and there's the raft! The raft was ladder blocked! 
Holy smokes, Batman, that is a turn of events. No cheat. Might. Oh, but he has to deal with a mugger room. Oh, Toasty won't have a problem with that, but that cost a heart. The other side of it is. Well, to be fair, Toasty's probably going to dig five anyway, but the fact that Nochi has that first, he's going to get first dibs on whatever level is at the raft spot. Best hope for Nochi is that that's level three. If it's level eight, it might be a while. The other problem that Nochi has is he's currently sitting at a two Triforce deficit, which may come back to haunt him when it comes time to pay the Piper and go to seven. On the plus side, it's a quick try for us in seven. But he may skip the Eddie key if he's in Triforce and go mode at that point. Something tells me this is not easy to skip the any key because of how key starved it has been. Here's the thing, though. If, if oh, oh, by the wow, way, that was quick. My thing is, if you don't know the any key is in level seven and you see how big seven is, you have no reason to go dig it. Besides, uh, you just want to dig it. Oh, or you're trying to play the theater or Minitrix. Also, Troll Handler living up to its name. Look at that. Oh, yeah. He's through, and he's got the White Sword. Not what he's after, but that is a huge plus. Yeah, I don't think he's going to say no to it. Toaster... Probably going to finish checking out the rest of five, given that even though it is triple segmented, it's kind of small. I don't see a reason for him to leave an item behind in five versus redig all of seven looking for something. That would be wise. Yeah, he's gonna go check these rooms now. Yeah, this is definitely the play to make. And there's no wow. In Not there. It's in seven! This race just took an insanely wild turn. So that's... That's going to be interesting. So Toaster's choice to gamble on 7 not having a quarter is not going to pay off. Um, that actually puts this race a lot closer... Perhaps even gives Nochi Beto the slightest edge because he has to go to level 7 anyway. Toaster is going to clear out 3 before 7. Now, some of that oh, may be wow. mitigated by having to go back to level 1. Yeah, but even so, Nochi had a bit of trouble getting off that island as a Dark Nut decided to play Return to Sender with the Raft. This. This race honestly just went from kind of close to very close. This has got interesting. This got super interesting in a hurry. The other side of the equation, though, is that Nochi is going to have to dig four. So if he digs four, he will get his wand and his power bracelet, which he probably won't say no to. But he's then going to have to go dig seven. As Toasty shoots the old man with the wand. Well, well yeah, why not? <laughs> what else are you going to do with the wand? Look at it. You can't use it against the Wishups. Well, you can use it against everything else but Ganon. So, we're missing a red candle, a bunch of hearts. And uh, I don't know what else. A partridge and a pear tree. There's oh, four. Wait, oh wait, wrong time of year. Ooh, that is a segmented level four. 
That's that, that's a fun four to have to go through. Also, Nochi Beta is currently bomb locked. Yeah, he's gonna have to find a bomb shop or get a drop. Or both. Toaster is gonna see this Triforce here in three. I I I see no reason that he gambles on three at this point. He knows he needs recorder. He doesn't want to redig seven. It's way better to just check three, even though we know he's got to go to seven. Yeah, he is going to... Yeah, that's the only part about this that's not going to work out great for him, is having to redig seven, having to go all the way back to Spectacle Rock. With no flute, mind you. Yeah, that's the real... That makes leaving seven an even tougher gamble to make because if recorder's there and you gamble that ooh, if that comes back to bite you man i feel bad so now she's actually headed towards level seven the problem is he doesn't have any bombs he can't get in yeah bombs required So he needs either a cooperating enemy or to find the shop. And sometimes the bomb shop is the one that can be the most elusive. Gets a forced fiver. We don't know if that overwrote the bomb drop as the forced fiver does overwrite whatever drop was going to show up. Oh, that's basically the 10th. So then the count would start again at 11, I think. Oh, he doesn't need... Check oh, wait, no, no, no. Correctly. He's, got, he's got seven open already. Yeah, exactly. he opened seven already, but had to make a quick exit. Well, it does give, it does give him the ability to respawn these gorillas infinitely, so he can get a bomb drop off of them if they cooperate. Toaster's actually on the bomb kill right now, so he may try to... Nope, never mind. Yeah, I don't think at two bombs he was going to do 10th enemy as the bomb, as the hint says in first quest eight. No, but... My thought on what he was going to do was that he was going to make sure his next kill was a bomb dropper so that he could get a chance on the global. And based on what we've seen, I think at this point the I think at this point the game is still within Toaster's ball court just from Trifor just from the sheer Triforce advantage alone because both of them are now in 7 looking for their items. Although, oh, oh wow. Oh my, it was right there, it is. there. Both runners have the recorder, both runners in Triforce and Gobode, and we got a bomb upgrade in seven. 93 rupees, how many? Vanilla. Plus, but that's okay. Uh, that is honestly okay here. And this, actually, I think is the room with the any key in it, so it's at this point, both runners are going to try force and go in level 8. This will come down to how fast can Nochi go back to 4, get that Triforce, go back to 1, get that Triforce. How much of 7 is he going to check versus how much of 9 does Toaster see as well as level 8? And at this point, if you're Toaster, you want to have everything show up quick. Gonna check the stair, it's a heart. And, and honestly, I think with the White Sword, neither runner is gonna go for the Magical Sword. Because it's just... The benefit of it at this point, especially with already having the Wand, is not worth the extra time to get all those hearts. Except that he was just gonna give him hearts. Nochi with the Triforce out of seven does need to get a move on because he's still got to get three Triforces before he can get into level nine. But he can Triforce and go the last couple of dungeons, which will help him out. Most importantly, he's not going to have to kill the Patra in level four, so that'll save him some time. More importantly, name that recorder tune, chat. It's a tune. 
And there's level 8, and Nochi just avoiding the return to sender. Actually, no, forced into it, because he got pushed too far back. So now the question is, what is the best way to get to level 9? You're at level 7, so whistling to 3 wouldn't be a bad choice. Or 2. Looks like I guess that four. works, too. Yep, that's remember, another good choice. Level 9 was at vanilla 1. Yeah. So for this seed, that is the right call to make. And with that, what are we after as we go into level 9? Wait, where is Toasty going? Oh, he's taking the back way. So there's a couple of things we're listening for as we go into level 9. One of those is the War of Ganon. Uh, while Ganon may have bomb-proofed some of his walls, he certainly did not make them sound You'll be able to hear Ganon if you're one room away. But you may not necessarily have passed to him with the route you take. Uh, the other thing we're going to be looking for... ...is one of two things. We're going to be looking for a single shutter room. In that single shutter like room... This one. Yes. If that shutter door does not open after killing all the enemies, or if you've killed Ganon, that shutter door does automatically open. You have found the location of Zelda. Unfortunately, that shutter door did pop open, so that's not it. And a staircase. You know, I like this uh, decision here to go ahead and jump on the staircase, see if it's an item or not, and then just keep searching 9. Because one of the main things you want to do with 9 is is cover as much area as possible. There's the other bomb upgrade in level 8. Snowchi's gonna go ahead and fight off the four-headed Gliok with White Sword and Red Ring. This should not be... Yeah, he's got this fight. Gets a heart for his troubles. That will replace the one he gave up earlier. Toaster is now searching level 9. Aquamentus will mask Ganon's roar completely. Any boss will do that. Well, if you have a Patra or a Dig Dogger or a Main Handler, you can hear Ganon's roar a tiny bit at the very beginning of the roar sound. But an Aquamentus or a Gliok, yeah, that's complete masking because they have the same roar. I want to say Toaster heard Ganon there, just by sheer virtue of it. He stayed in that room a little bit. No, he's oh, found Zelda. Hi, Zelda. Toasty has found the legend of Zelda. Now he just needs to go find the bacon. He's a key in the corner. He's going to skip it with that end key. And oh, shoot. That's definitely something you don't want to see in 9. There's a shoot room in your way. Could have been worse. All right, it could have had shutter doors. Room yeah, exactly. I saw that in a race recently, and that was frolly. And Nochi's not going... Okay, now Nochi's in the Triforce room. Just watch out for those buff... Ooh. Good time for a clock. I think that was the last enemy. Yes, it was. Nochi has now picked up his Triforce out of level. He just has to go back to four and go back to one, and he'll be eligible to enter level nine. But Toaster does have a significant lead, have a knowledge of where Zelda is, just searching for Ganon. Oh, wait! Yep, we have please. a pig! Yep, we have a pig! Time to start the cookout. It's going to be eight hits with the white sword, and this race is all but wrapped up for Toaster at this point. Having no trouble getting the stun lock. 
Yep, down goes Ganon. We got Bacon, and that's a perfect fight. And he knows the path to go to Zelda, so it's only a matter of time now. And let's let's make sure one thing is perfectly clear. Nochi Beto put up a very good race. He just got a little bit unlucky with not heading to level with Basically he just got unlucky with his routing in that he just didn't buy the early candle and go to too early. That really was the difference maker in the seed is Toaster was able to get into too early and that really propelled him in this uh, race. What also hurt Nochi was bomb luck. Happens to all of us where sometimes the bombs just don't drop for you. Oh, absolutely. And it looks like he's back in level four. Yeah, he had to get the Triforce out of here, but, well, here's a switch. Zelda's in Ganon's room, but with that, we have a winner. Amazing Toaster takes game one. Get your GGs in chat. An official SRL time of 55.32. And with that, we also have a immediate forfeit coming out from Nochi Beto. This was a heck of a race for both runners. Give them both GG's, because this was a good one that just came down to a routing decision and bomb luck. Now, I don't recall if these guys' game two is scheduled to go on immediately after this one. Let me find out. If it is, and we'll go ahead and get set up for that. If it is not, then we'll see if we can have them join us for an interview. Yeah, it's scheduled for tomorrow at the same time, 9 o'clock Eastern. Can Toasty move on, or can Nochi force a Game 3? That will be scheduled for Thursday, October 10th, at the same time, if necessary. We have Amazing Toaster with us. GG's on the win, sir. Thank you. So, the big difference in this seed was you having gotten the early candle, going into two, getting the ladder, and getting the red ring. Yeah, that candle, or that ladder red ring combo, I knew that was a, a good thing to have. So what this seed also came down to was, well, unfortunately, Nochi wound up having some rough bomb luck late in the race where there was still a chance of a comeback. But what he also only took one trip up to seven. You gambled on that second item, but unfortunately this time, the recorder was there. It always does that to me. That sounds like my luck in a nutshell right there, and that's why I don't play the lottery. Yeah, for, for as much as this seed ran me around, I'm surprised it's a 55. I've been doing seeds that have done this kind of crap to and they've been, you know, 10 minutes longer. Well, this seed did kind of give you guys both a break by having the bow and silvers relatively early, so... Combat wasn't entirely an issue. Yeah. Of course, I bought the uh, the wood right before I got the silver, so. 
Sounds like something that would happen with this rando. And with that, we are joined by Nochibato. GG. I forget which one it was, but I think there's been a couple of runners that have said if buying the wooden arrows led to the silver arrows, they would buy the wooden arrows in every single seed. Oh, yeah, for sure. Now, if only it were that way with me and Blue Ring, then I wouldn't die 20 times in a seed. You know, this game is hard. Oh, I agree. The way I look at Zelda 1, both the vanilla game and the rando, is that it's easy to learn, but you're looking at years to master. Also, we may fully have Nochi Beta with us now. GG's to you on a well-fought, on a well-raced and well-fought match. I hate sex. You're not the only one. That seems to be a common theme. Can't quite put my finger on why. I was absolutely convinced that that staircase had something I wanted. Absolutely convinced. I mean, technically it did, because the Triforce was in that room. It just didn't have goods. Unless you're somebody who picks up Lord Banana every seat. But what we're saying in here is the big difference is Toaster bought the candle and went into level 2 much earlier than you did. As soon as I saw that ladder, I was like, I'm either ahead or I'm well behind. And I had a good feeling I was well behind. Now on the plus side, you got the wrap first unfortunately level three only delivered the white sword so what helped you is that you only had to make one trip up to level seven well once you got past the early block because once you got up there you got both items in one trip whereas toasty had to make two trips for the items yeah i was hoping for that raft to lead to something or to lead to the to the flute, but it didn't. So how do you guys feel about level one being here's all three items in the first five rooms? That was kind of cool, except um, it didn't give us enough keys to get to the Triforce. Minor details, minor details. Well, that would have worked out well if the any key had been there, but speaking of keys, this seed was really key-starved right up until Tosi grabbed the any key out of seven, because level five, normally you get a lot of keys. This seed did not give a lot of keys on level five. It seemed like level six was the actual key avalanche. Yeah, six gave a few, but five... I think I got kicked out of five because I didn't have keys. Yeah. And I even can a door or two. Yeah, I got kicked out of everything because I didn't have keys. And then I had to go back into four because I didn't have bombs. And. Eh. I'm just going to say it, and uh, I mean this in all sincerity. Five, as of late, seems to be just lacking in the key department across the board. The only thing key in this level five was a key item. That was it. Yeah, and apparently there was another stairway that I didn't see because there was that little segment down in the corner I didn't touch. We didn't see it either. It must have been that, that, that bomb wall that uh, I saw only once I got the map. 
Yeah, I can't say I'm used to seeing triple segmented level 5s. I mean, I'm used to seeing it with level 8, because that is a thing that does happen quite a bit. But a triple segment there? Yeesh. I didn't look at the map long enough to see the triple segment. I just saw I can go up, go up, there's the raft, and I'm going. That is a fair assessment of doing that dungeon. Yeah, I did that in a little more roundabout manner, but yeah. By the way, GG's toaster. Yep, GG. Game two tomorrow. Same bat time. We don't know the channel, though, so stay tuned for that bit of information. I would like to give a quick shout out to both of our runners who have put on an excellent race for us. Amazing Toaster and Ochi Beto. Please go follow both of them. As well as my co-commentator, Leslie Pro, and our restreamer, Mr. Broadstone. And we also did the tracking duties tonight as well. I'd say we knocked it out of the park. Yeah. Go ahead. And wait, go wait, ahead and give out so a follow as well. He also does a lot of Zelda 1 rando. Now, looking at the schedule coming up for this evening, the only other Zelda 1 action is over on Speed Gaming, and that is between Redbird Grad and or Racetress. They play games 1 and 2, and Angel FM versus Eat My Steel at Speed Gaming 2 at basically midnight, but I got to work early, so I probably won't be staying up for that. And, then and, look those, oh. and I'm just going to mention that looking at tomorrow, here's what we got. We have got Cat Game 2 between Cabin 856 and Mr. Cab 55. That's at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Game 1 of Antlers versus Willard J. Bradley at 7.30. Game 2 between these two runners at 9.00. Captain Green 7 and Truant Gamer, a game 2 at 10, also at the same time. Dig Shake versus King Doll, game 2. And then also at the same time, a game 1 between Shaddy and Slidic. So lots of Zelda 1 action across the board tomorrow. And it's going to be a lot of fun. Sure, we don't have that game 3 thriller on the calendar, but that doesn't mean the races won't be close, because they very much can be. And we also have, for those that are, for those if you're looking for something uh, less uh, tournament-based, we do have the Routers Relish Battle Royale quarterfinals going on right now over on Randomania 2, featuring Fred, aka F. Coughlin, King Doll, Captain Green 7, and Zarnax. That is part of our awesome. Battle Royale series. So for those that want to see a seed where the router where the routers have had a week to route it out before racing it, head on over there. Toasty, you had something? I was gonna say that's gonna be a fast one, so uh, don't blink. <laughs> You're right about that. Those are four very quality runners. So with that, any final thoughts on the seed? Can you give out some more keys next time? <laughs> now, I was thinking bombs, but keys, yes. Well, actually more both. I mean, you could buy keys in the shop with your 61 large secret, but that seems like a terrible idea. Yeah, you'd still need no. another 8 rupees. And I wasn't going to the rear shop to buy bombs. I don't blame you. That was a bit out of the way. I think that with that, that's going to do uh, uh, for us here. So on behalf of our two runners... Amazing Toaster and Nochi Beto, on behalf of my co-com and co-tracker, Leslie Pro, 
And on behalf of our restreamer, Mr. Broadstone, this has been also a... We thank you for joining us for tonight's race, and thank you for joining us here on the Radomania family of channels. Please do go check out all the other Zelda 1 action that is happening tonight, tomorrow, and probably for the rest of the next, uh... Good while. It's gonna be fun, folks. Take care. We'll see you next time.